Hello everyone, so I'm Shruti Ojha and today I can officially call myself a medico because I have got admission in my college that is GMCH Chandigarh. So today I will tell you about the whole counselling process because when I searched YouTube, uh, when I was going to counselling, um, I didn't find any helpful and detailed ones. So I will make a one for you because um, I have also experienced everything from start to the end. So first is online form filling and documents upload. Here you have to uh, upload your UT pool, your mark sheets and uh, affidavits etc. I will tell you the whole list later. Secondly I am having, uh, after you upload your documents, after some time, after few days, you the merit list is uploaded. That merit list is alphabetically uh, ordered and it is not according to the marks. Even the marks and the rank is not displayed there. Okay. And separate list of ineligible candidates is uploaded. In that list, uh, the names of those students are there who have some problems in the documents. Just for example, uh, one of your, the UT pool quota or some DMC and all is not clear and you have to upload it again or submit it there. Uh, my documents were clear although. Then I am having uh, third, it comes provisional merit list. The name is same but now the final merit list with the uh, final students who have uh, collected their documents is included and it is arranged order wise that is rank wise. Next I am having counselling notice and schedule. Then you will receive a counselling notice on the website itself. Uh, it would be mentioned like what is the reporting time and date, uh, right? Next I am having fifth one is counselling day. Uh, next you have to go uh, to the G college itself that is GMCH 32 and you will uh, you have to attend the counselling there offline. Seat allotment is also offline because there is only one college in Chandigarh. So, I first we will on the first day uh, this time uh, the process was conducted in two days uh, usually it was conducted in one day itself but this time it was conducted in two days so on the first day uh, we had document verification and the signature of the uh, principal ma'am on the second day uh, we had a medical test and the fees deposit for medical tests, you have to run a lot in the whole college and you have to do some hard work. Um, and it is not a, just a formality. You have uh, every test is conducted like in detail and um, like you have to uh, con conduct it and take it seriously. After that only, after the sign of main chairman of medical board only, you can submit the fees and understand your admission to be confirmed. So I think this process was clear you uh, clear to you in short and I will upload separate videos on what are the documents to be uploaded and what are the medical tests conducted here and uh, what is the reporting time and all everything. So stay connected. Do subscribe. To